Hey, it's Dave Austin here, and it must be Monday at 12 noon because I've consistently been coming to you at 12 noon on, on Facebook Live. So, all those little pop-ups always help when you're doing this. But anyway, it is New Year's 2017. Hope you're having, I just hope you had an awesome, I want to say, Haoli Makikiho, which in Hawaiian means Happy New Year. This is the start. It's uh, January 2nd. We have a day off still, you know, still part of the holiday with, with January 1st uh, landing on Sunday. And so tomorrow we really kick off everything that we want to really get grounded in and start off. So, you know, last week when I talked to you, I talked to you about goals and setting goals and seeing goals and consistently seeing them. So hopefully you set them. Hey, Guy, I see you're on. That's awesome. From Israel. Love it. That's fantastic. It's in the evening over there, later at night. Wow. But anyway, I want to um, talk about if you have set your goals, and hopefully you have. And uh, is that Tim coming on? Awesome. Awesome. Good to have you on. So you've set your goals. Or if you haven't set your goals, what you want to do is now wrap a theme around those goals. Take a look at those goals that you set. And what is one word theme you can put behind it? Or if you haven't set them and you're going to set them today, as you're setting them, think about the one word theme that you can kind of put your focus on for this whole 2017. Give you some examples. I, have, uh, I do this with my private clients. So I had a private client that last year, his word was consistency. So everything that he did is setting up his goals, he wanted to be consistent, stay consistent, not just fall off, not just get something started and then fall off, but then keep going. And I got my beautiful bride on, Kathy. Always love to have uh, the support of a great woman behind any man. And there you are. But anyway, um, so if you want to stay consistent, that's what he wanted to do. And so just by having that word, and he put that word so he could see it every day, consistent, consistency, there it was for him. And so it kept him on track the whole year. Now this year for me, oh, I, we just had a call last week. I'll finish with him first. We had a call and this year his word is joy. He wants to bring joy to everything he does. He wants to, no matter what the pressure is, he's the president of a pretty large company and whatever pressure hits, he's going to look to bring joy to it. It's amazing. When you, when you decide what your word is, you know, and don't just do it rash. I mean, something might come quickly and that's good if it really hits, but it's got to energize you. That word that you come up with has got to be something that's going to keep you energized into achieving all that you want to do. So give you an example as far as myself. So uh, my theme this year, my word is celebrate. Celebrate. That is my, my word. And, and so let's look at what, what some of those things mean. Um, celebrate. Public acknowledgement with a social gathering. Oh, I like that. I like having celebration. So I guess this year means that I'm going to have to have some kind of celebration here at the house that anyone that all my friends are invited to. You know, a little over a year ago when we came out with Be a Beast, the book, when I went to number one, we had a celebration and we moved into a new home here in uh, Rancho Santa Fe. So we celebrated this new home and we celebrated the book going to number one. It was a kick-ass, fun, fun time. And so that's, that, that means I've got to have some, something like that again this year, just by putting that word out there. And who's this? Adrena? I don't know if I said it right. I hope I pronounced it right. Great to have you on. But um, another part of celebration is to observe. Observe what you're doing. And, and, and that's an important part of, of celebrating. Uh, mark, keep, honor, remember, memor memor memorize, memorialize. Got it. <laughs> Can't even speak it. But these are what I'm striving to be this year with one word. I get charged when I think of celebration. Big Al Patterson's on. Awesome. He's doing some amazing things in Africa. Please go and, and if you go to his private page, I can't think of the, 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 work, uh, the, the proper name, but he'll put it in there. And I'm sure he's going to come up with a great word because when he sets goals, I've never seen anybody go after him 
and hit them consistently like I've watched Al over 40 some years. So what is your word that you're gonna put in and it's gonna give you the energy and the excitement every time you see it? For me, it's celebrate. For, and, and let me just, I put a little phrase behind it. I said, I am finishing strong all I started in the years before 2017. Capitalizing on the foundation I have laid and celebrating each victory in 2017. Living in the energy of celebration brings me great joy. So I get excited when I think of the word celebration. So I'm going to have that word here. So when I look at my goals and when it gets taxing and when I feel like I've got to stretch a little bit further, I'm going to bring that word into it. I'm going to bring that theme into it. Celebrate. Celebrate this that I'm chosen. I've chosen to, to, to take on. Now with Kathy, I love what she has. Her word is prolific. And what are some of the words that go with prolific? Productive, creative, inventive, fertile, plentiful, abundant, bountiful, rich, lush, fruitful. What a great word that is. Prolific. So everything she does is she's writing her books and she has set goals. Here's her little phrase. I'm having my most prolific year ever and intend on receiving great financial wealth and public acknowledgement for these creations, including New York Times number one best-selling status and Academy Awards. So that's pretty cool. You know, you put it out there. Put it out there and put a word behind it that energizes you, that's gonna help you move forward in the way that you intend to. You remember intentions? You, you put solid intentions. That's what we do before I give you the game ready. I had another client last year that his word was freedom. He ended up selling his company for multi-million dollars. He created freedom. When you put a word behind or around, surround your goals with one word, it makes it that much easier to just to lock in and focus in on that which you desire. I see Terry's come on. Hey, Terry. Glad to have you on. Hope you're doing well. Terry, you're a champion. She's been battling things and she's coming through with, with, with championship form. And we are praying for you every single day. So thank you for you and, and your wonderful husband doing the great work that you guys are doing. So with that said, I want you to put in, I want you to, to, to put in your word and keep coming back to this video. And, and if you forget what your word is, hopefully you're going to put your word where you see it all over. But make a claim in, to the public of this is what my theme is this year. This is a theme that I'm living into this year. Put it down there and then live into it. And now we'll, we'll go ahead and do our, our game ready. I want to see you though. I'd love to see what some of the, um, the words that some of you are thinking about right now. Go ahead and just mark you, put, put it down. Put down what word is going to be your theme. And if, it's, if you're not ready, if you want to take more time, fine. But sometime later today, after you've had a little bit of quiet time, maybe even after the game ready, in the game ready, possibly it'll come to you so strong that that's the word that's going to drive you for the whole year. That is the, the word that's going to be the, the strength and your theme behind achieving your goals. See, we make it too complicated. We can break it all the way down to one word. And then have that mean something be, and, and put that or surround our, our goals with that, the goals that we have set. And you bring that type of energy to it. All of a sudden, you're now moving into those goals so much easier. You are creating your desire outcomes. And that's what it's about because it can be challenging. And, you know, I'm not going to kid you. I mean, it takes practice to do anything well. A daily practice. And I see Stacy's come on. Hey, what's creativity? Loving. Great word. Great word. Creativity. Bring that to everything you do in setting up your goals. When you have a challenge and you think, man, what am I going to do? And then you think creativity. What can I, how can I create? Ah, then you slow down and now the creative process starts going in. Let's see what else we have here. Intentional. That's an awesome one too. Be very intentional. I have talked about setting intentions. I had a chance to speak at some really incredible places over the last couple of years, but I've done it. Someone asked me, one called me, I had a, another author call me and said, hey, how did you get to speak at the UN? I've always wanted to speak at the UN. 
I said, well, I just set the intention. She says, no, 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 but what did you do? I said, I just set the intention. She says, well, no, it's got to be more than that. I said, no, I set the intention that I wanted to speak at the UN. By setting that intention, then I had my antenna up. So when I saw something that took place that I could take, you know, I have to take action behind it. Then all of a sudden it happened. So about three weeks later, she called me and said, oh my gosh, I just got invited to speak at the UN. This stuff works. Yeah, it does work, but you have to be committed to it. You have to stay strong in it. That's the key. So let's see, what else do we have? All right, we still have, we got intention, in, intentional creativity. I love all these words. Think about what, what it is. So let's go ahead now. This is what I try to give you every single Monday. Is a game ready? So you start seeing you live the life that you want. You're creating it in your mind. That way your subconscious mind can accept it and go, oh yeah, of course, of course you can do this. I've said many times over, those that know me, that I never could win tennis tournaments when I was playing tennis. Well, I still play tennis, but when I was playing competitively without first visualizing and seeing the victory, seeing the victory then in advance, then I can move into it. When I work with professional athletes, what we do in the game ready is we see them performing at their very, very best before they go on the field. And then it just, you know, now they can just live into what they're focused on rather than the worry of what might happen. Because that's just as a distraction. Worry is a complete distraction. And we got another word in here from Austin Bennett, driven. That's great. You know, every time you, you come up to something where, where you're going to have to be challenged, driven is a, is, a, is a good word because you're going to drive right through it because that's how the, each one of these words work. They, 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 in, the intention is that for something to energize you, to propel you to your goals. So with that said, let's go ahead now, do the, the, the visualization that we do every, every uh, Monday. You can always come back to this. You can always listen to the, to the recording and keep moving into this. And if you clearly see it, it becomes so much easier to be it. So think about what you want right now. Let's just take a moment and see yourself as it's 2017 and my lovely cat is coming to join me. Hey, do you want to get into this too? We love our animals. We have two dogs and two cats. And Dakota decided she wanted to be a little star today and come into this, which is great. Dakota, what's your word going to be? What's your word going to be? So think about it's the end of 2017. And I want you to, to go ahead now. And I, and I want you to, 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 first of all, be grateful. Just feel the power of gratitude of the things that you do have already. Just go ahead and focus in on that which you have. And be grateful for it. Sometimes when we get distracted is we get distracted by the things we don't have or what we think we should have. Be grateful for what you have right now. Now in that attitude, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. And now our second cat has come here. I love it. Join me. They must be feeling the energy of this right now. This must mean that this is really important when you get the animals involved. <laughs> so now that you have, and I'm grateful for our animals. I am so grateful. And I'm very grateful to Al for what you're doing for all the animals to save our animals in Africa. Uh, that is something that means a lot to me. And it takes people like you, Al, to take the, just say, I'm going to go and make a difference. I'm going to make a change and I'm going to save our animals. So with that said, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to see your gate. And as you see your gate, I want you to pass through your gate. Now, as you pass through your gate, I want you to come into this place in nature that, oh my gosh, you absolutely love. This is your ah, place in nature that you love to come to. Place you've been to before, combination of places, are you, you're co-creating. It can be a brand new place in nature that you, man, it just, I want you to feel the power and the excitement that you have in putting yourself here and just the joy you have and appreciation of the beauty that's here. Mm. Breathe it in now. Nature loves to be appreciated, so breathe it in. Breathe through your nose all the way to the pit of your stomach. And then breathe out your mouth. With every breath in, you're breathing in the fire of life. What you're doing is you're lighting the fire from deep within you. And that fire can burn bright if you feed it every day. Keep breathing in and breathe out any negative thoughts. 
that's going to keep you away from living into the life that you love. That's what it's all about. Really focusing on it. What, what do I love? And then living into it. So as you just take this moment and experience nature and appreciate the beauty of it, now see another gate. As you step through that gate, there you are. It's the end of 2017. And see yourself celebrating because you made a shift this year. You decided to start really focusing in and being real, just absolutely relentless on your pursuit. And now you have achieved so much. So rejoice in that. And feel what that feels like. Just take in. It is done. And you have done it. What an exciting thought. So come all the way back to January of 2017 and see the excitement that you just kept alive. Even as you went into February where most people start to just get into their old routines, you decided, no, I'm going to keep the, this dream alive. And in February, you see yourself keeping your theme alive and keep looking at your goals so that you're driven. Now in March, where some people have dropped off, but you haven't. You're, you're living a happier, more fulfilled life than ever because you're staying true to yourself and true to the dream that you put forth. See it and own it. Now, now it's April and you're just even firing up even stronger. You've already been you know, achieving and it's celebrating each little achievement along the way, but you're in stride. Now more people may be dropped off. They've fallen back into their regular routine, but you know, you have decided that this is who you are and you're staying true to it. See that. Take a look at your goals again. Get excited about your goals and keep driving forward. Take a look at that theme, that one word that's driving you and get feel the excitement of that word. Feel how it energizes you as you move forward. Feel that and see that completely as you go through the summer. What a gorgeous summer. And then you get into the fall and you're just every bit, you're hot, you're on fire with what you're achieving because you have done it intentionally. You have done it with pure, every single Sunday or Monday you set intentions and you stay true to those intentions. And they all fit beautifully with the intention and with the goal and the theme that you set at the beginning of the year. You're relentless. Even in November and even as we get in December and the holidays, you're on fire. You're finishing strong, which you started the year off so strong. You stayed consistent all the way out. And that's a beautiful thing. So feel the energy of that. Feel how awesome that is. You have allowed yourself to really unleash the beast that's in you. Unleashed it fully. What a, what a blessing it is. What a total blessing it is that you've been able to unleash everything you have. Put everything into it. You can't lose that way. Even if things didn't work out exactly the way, you just, it, it, there's so much excitement because you stepped up your game. That's how champions become champions because they already start off champions. Champions are champions before they're champions. So it starts now. You don't wait until you, December of next year to say, I won. You start winning tomorrow. You start winning today. Every moment. Every moment's a new moment. And when you live that way, then you're already a champion. And champions work differently than other people. They work harder, but they enjoy it more. They actually take on so much more, but they have more joy in it because they already say, say ahead of time, I'm a champion. So when you feel that and you just absolutely take that in, you can come back through the gate, come back into this place in nature that you love. Mm. What a beautiful gift it is to always have this place to come. And know that just all it takes is taking the time to slow down and come to this place because you're lifted in this place. You're lifted to fly at a higher flight. You're, you're soaring with the eagles when you come to this vibrational level. And you can feel it deep within you. And it's just an appreciation now of the beauty around you. Take that in. Go to a well. Oh, the water's so clear. So, so cold and refreshing. Drink from it. Feel energized. Feel the power that you feel right now. There is a source and a power that goes beyond you and you're allowing yourself to say yes to that. You're allowing yourself to step into that. So walk stronger. Walk in that knowing 
that this gift is always within you. You just have to open to it. You just have to open the gift every morning when you wake up. Say thank you for this gift of this day. That's all it takes. And then you can walk stronger in this day. And even if things are challenging, you have a strength beyond yours. And with your theme and with your knowing of how you absolutely feel the strength of that power beyond you, within you, man, you take it on. What a joy it is. Take one more look out into the beauty that you brought yourself into. Breathe it in. Now step out through that first gate. Open your eyes. Your game ready. 2017's here. It's your time. It's our time. And you know what's interesting is that there's a lot of things that will be happening this year. New president, new things that, you know, we some of us maybe aren't thrilled about that. Maybe, but, but if we can get thrilled, if we can say, hey, you know what? I'm going to make a change in my life. It all starts here at my house. It all starts with what I do. I don't have to wait for the government to do something. I don't have to... I can, I can be positive in everything I do and I can create such a momentum that absolutely positivity spreads. Negativity does too, I'll tell you that. So when you get yourself down and, and you know, you've all seen that, you've been around people who, you know, you, they're so negative that you just feel that energy. Well, positive energy is felt too. Be the light for others to find their own light. And I'll see you next Monday with a new theme as we step into it consistently day and week after week. Follow this and achieve and enjoy all that you do achieve. Thank you for being with me today and uh, I'll uh, talk to you hopefully in between, but I'll always be here on Facebook Live, 12 noon, California time. Thanks.